So are you telling me that evolution does not have any kind of prediction for what humans are going to evolve into? Of course it has. Of course, I'm curious. of course it has. What does it say? It, so number one, a basic uh, 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 um, uh, claim, to the claim or assertion that the theory is saying is that evolution has never stopped. Okay. Evolution is happening all the time to each and every creature at each and every stage and we are in the same evolutionary uh, uh, um, frothing, foaming, okay? Now, as much as we have okay. been a billion or uh, two fine, billion or five fine. billion years ago. Fine. So okay. it means that the human being is evolving. Okay. It means that also that all other be beings are evolving. So what are we going to evolve into? I'm curious. So I'm then you, you look at, okay, what are we going to evolve into? And the, 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 the assertions of the theory is you are always going to evolve in the direction that is uh, giving you an advantage versus the challenges that you are uh, uh, that you are, that are meeting you. Okay. All right. So now you look into these okay um, absurd things. Humans want to address the frontier of space travel. You want to be colonizing space. Space. We want to go to Mars. We know that the human being cannot live uh, uh, comfortably. Uh, there is the problems of the atmosphere. There is the problems of gravity. There is the problems of probably. of many other things. Okay, we can fix temperature with with with. Uh, okay, we'll not wear a suit all the time, but we're going to create habitats Georgia's, and yeah, uh, etc. Yeah. We are going to fix the the air by things like. Uh, uh, um, putting plants and putting things that will change the, the environment after some time, uh, a process like terraforming, they call it. None of this is actually doing anything to me. But yes, it, it, but then uh, what are we going to do about the gravity? So Mars has a different mass than Earth, and we know that you know, astronauts go to space, spend plenty of time, and then they start having problems because the, the kind uh, it's 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 low. So you you, you have you float, uh, you float. the problem is your your system, uh, your bones, and uh, is 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 under this kind of stress. And if you remove this stress, you start growing weaker. Your muscles start growing the weaker, density. and 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 you start suffering. And then don't worry, evolution will take care of this. We will evolve. So we're going to evolve into life. We are going to be a different creature. We are going to send people to Mars, and then people who have it in them to adapt will. Be, and later, after hundreds of thousands of years, we will have Martians, which were originally humans, but they will be so different than humans that they cannot even mate with humans. They will become a different species. So. You sell to people the idea that you, you are going. Be able to fly? Uh, well, <laughs> that, there I'm is. I'm willing, I'm willing to buy into evolution if, if someone tells me that we're going to be able to fly someday. Uh, th 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 <laughs> there is there is actually this question that strikes me. So you're claiming that humans are apes, are great apes, because they share a common the ancestor. Great apes are Lucas. Uh, oh, of course, so great apes yeah, come uh, yeah, yeah. at a point of time. Uh, you have a common ancestor with rats and with all sorts of nonsense. So uh, the rats is an actual assertion of the theory that, mm. that somewhere down there we have a rat ancestor. Maybe it's so embarrassing that we do not really publicize it that much. Rat-like, of course. The, the ancestor itself doesn't exist. There is nothing there. But anyway. They have the reasons. So, the question the question is like this. Look at the monkey. Who is stronger, a human being or a monkey? A monkey is much stronger. It climbs trees, it jumps, it's muscular. It doesn't need to go to the gym to be muscular, by the way, etc. And it is physically much, much more fit. fit. So I want to ask a question. Was our common ancestor with the monkey a disabled monkey or something? <laughs> so it evolves into this weak, weakling that we are. We're weak. 
We're weak, right or not? Yeah, of course, compared to most of the animal kingdom. Scripture says we're weak. And the human being has been created weak, it says in the Quran. This is what it says. It says this has been created. It is intentional that the human being is weak. It is intentional. It's not coincidental. So how come we're weak according to your strange theory? Because what should have happened is that we should have developed intelligence on top of strength. Why have we lost strength? Isn't it a theory of continuous capturing of advantages, probably, survival uh, advantages? I'm just guessing. They're yeah. probably claiming that intelligence replaced strength, right? Why? Somehow, yeah. There is no replacement. Yeah, yeah. There is no place for replacement. You have this monkey that is strong and it starts developing through random mutations, miraculously in one way or the other, speech and intellect and this kind of that kind of thing. Why is it losing muscularity? Because it, it definitely is very detrimental to its survival that, you know, we have this great ape, according to the theory, which is the human being that is the weakest thing in the jungle. Everybody can eat it. It doesn't run fast. It doesn't climb trees that good. It's not muscular as much. If it goes in a fight with a gorilla or a bear or a lion, you are a loser. Right? Everybody can, everything can kill it. We're very vulnerable to diseases. Our skin is very fragile, you know, we're very easily cut. Okay, we do not see at night like a cat, or uh, we do not uh, use sonic things like a bat, and we are really very limited in terms of our physical capabilities. It's all intellectual. So all your predictions are false, mm -hmm. as a theory. But you do not acknowledge that the human being is a different creation. You do not acknowledge that our existence on this planet is not to rule because we are stronger. We shouldn't be like gorillas. We shouldn't be like, you know, I'm the strongest. We, we're not King Kongs. We're here to have this and to have this. This gives us the ability to compute and this is the seat of the soul where you need to take decisions and you need to pick up a course in life. See the path. And see the path. And believe in things. Believe through reason. The others are fit to what they are able to do, other creatures. And they don't need to reason. And they don't need to believe. Why? Because they already do. They already believe. You told this to an evolutionist, he will laugh at you. But as, as theists, as people who believe in God, we know that these creatures are happy the way they are. They are supplicating God and they are they are consistent and harmonious with their existence. All right? Worshiping God in their own way. They're worshiping God in their own way because how did we define worship in the other in the other conversation that we have? Worship is following guidance. Humans are the ones who will follow guidance voluntarily or not follow. Choose. Yeah. If they choose not to. But the other creatures are created um, to play a role and because they were not given the choice you do your role and you go away now we have signed a contract and the contract says eternal life that we choose how it looks like through our choices now so don't complain about eternal tormenting or eternal punishment because it is your contract. It is what you are selecting. So what is the human evolution? Starts from the um, propaganda of space colonization, that we are going to become uh, different species, and maybe we go to different galaxies, and you have... Is our skin uh, yeah, and um, all sorts of uh, those things. And, of course, you have the huge media machine behind this matter. You have those uh, funny things that we were reading and, and you know, uh, they were presented to us 20 years ago that our fingers will be, you know, longer and our heads will be, you know, this and that and our uh, body will be smaller, you know, becoming freaks. 
okay because people who have faster fingers will be able to use the keyboard nonsense you know th these are the things but really the the, the the interesting one that is now being pushed by evolution is our cybernetic evolution right is the merger between the electronic world and the biological world and because they think that artificial intelligence Can you please using the, the same thinking will develop self-awareness which is from the perspective of evolution a product of uh, mechanical things not an external element they will say that the only way that humans will survive is to merge with the cyberspace so the next evolution is humans without bodies altogether just consciousness humans that are entities over the internet humans that can be downloaded into a robotic body that looks like this today and looks like the other one the next day that's not evolution though that's just that that's man-made stuff i mean that's not natural i mean that's that doesn't apply to the conversation that we're having today, right? Yes, it does. Because what it says is that if evolution stops at a point, we would rather use our intelligence to evolve ourselves. Otherwise, we will be ruled out by natural selection, which will favor cybernetic organisms. Mm, okay. So you are obsessed with this thinking to the extent that you are willing to destroy humanity as we know it because evolution and this is this is the fate of this line of thought which I don't think that any human being finds corresponding to reality coherent or even pragmatic